Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome to the video, welcome to my garage. You just finished watching, I think about a five minute segment with me putting the floors on the Mahler chassis and then I installed this center console piece which integrates the shifter, the shift rod, and it also has a mount for the turning brakes and it clamps onto the chassis so that when I need to remove it, the entire thing is removable. I think that thing's pretty cool. I wasn't sure what I was gonna do not having the hump, the Volkswagen hump in this chassis because the other Mahler chassis did have the hump. So when I came up with that idea, I thought that was pretty, pretty slick. Now, another thing that I've done, which I didn't film at all, is I welded up the entire chassis. Everything on this chassis up to this point is fully welded. So with welding the chassis, doing the floor plans, pans, floor pans, and uh, making that center console, that's like a month, three weeks to a month's worth of work. And now I'm at what I call a kind of like a critical spot on the design portion of the front of the chassis. And I didn't want to go too far without filming some progress updates. So you've seen what I've got done so far. I want to talk through with you where I'm at right now. So there's several things that are coming together at this point. I have the front suspension that's gonna come into here and I do need to mount a tube. This is inch and a half, it's actually gonna be inch and a quarter, but I need to mount a tube going from here to somewhere around here. And then when I figure out where that is, I need to do some cross bracing through here. But this tube that's gonna run through here, it needs to make sure that it has clearance for the lower control arm, and it also needs to clear the upper control arm and it needs to clear the shock absorber. So there's a lot of planning that needs to go into that. However, I'm not ready for this yet. I'm at the point where I need to figure out where everything is gonna go as far as the clutch pedal, the brake pedal, the throttle pedal. The throttle pedal on Mahler is drive by wire, so it's fairly simple. But either way, it needs to be put in the correct location. And then with that, I have this shaft through here that's tied to the steering rack. This needs to come through and it will, it will barely miss this. And then it needs to come up through here. And obviously right now it's gonna hit that, which is a problem. This will be my steering column. This will be somewhere like this. I'm not 100% sure where yet. And this has to clearance the brake and the clutch pedal assembly. I was thinking this is a what they call a reverse hanging pedal assembly. So the master cylinders are here, kind of hanging in the cockpit towards the driver. And then they go back and then the pedals are down here. Obviously this is just a foam thing I've got made up to hold these in the general location. Ratchet over there has what's called a, well, just a regular hanging pedal assembly. And on that one, all the master cylinders hang on this side. So on Ratchet, they actually sit outside here. I was hoping on Mahler here, I could keep using these on the inside but I don't think that's going to work. I think it's gonna be in the way of the steering shaft too much. This, the new Mahler chassis has way more room in this area than the first chassis. And what I've been doing is raising the pedal assembly up so that the pedals will be real comfortable. If you remember on Mahler, the pedal assemblies were really low to the ground. As a matter of fact, when you hit them with your foot, you were kind of more like, like pushing down with your toe because they were so low. And I fixed that on Ratchet. Ratchet's pedals are nice and high. They're really easy to hit. And I wanna do that on Mauler too. I wanna to make them really comfortable. But in me raising this assembly up, it's really gonna be right in the way of my steering shaft. So I think what I'm gonna to have to do is, I'm gonna have to break down and order a regular hanging pedal assembly so that I can take all these master cylinders, shift them over here, 
That should put them right about here, at which point I think my steering shaft here will be able to slide right underneath them. That's what it does on ratchet. It kind of comes in on the side, goes right under the corner, and then finishes its way up to the, the dashboard. So I'm not gonna mount any of this stuff in this video. I'm just gonna prop everything up in place. I'll probably do this over the next week. Figure out where I want everything to go. I'm gonna install the lower control arm, the upper control arm, the shock absorber, so that I can make sure all of that clearances this bar that I'm gonna put here, and that it clearances the steering shaft, and of course also that it that the master cylinders don't interfere with the shock absorber up there. So I got a lot of things that I gotta need to kind of come together. I'll mock everything up, and then when I have something that I think is gonna work, then I'll start fabricating permanent mounts for it. So that's it for this video, guys. Uh, like I said, I'm at a point now where I've actually got some big milestones done. The frame is looking good. I'm really happy with it at this point. But some of these smaller things, they really take a lot of time, and I'm trying to get this done. I'm not going to say as quickly as I can, but I'm trying to move along pretty quick because I really want to start focusing on ratchet again. But regardless, I'm at a point where I, I really need to size some things up so I can figure out where everything's going to fit. So I'm going to order up that pedal mount. And then as soon as that comes in, I'll be able to start cranking on that. So thanks for watching the video, guys. I hope it's helping you with whatever you might be working on. And I hope to see you on that. I hope to see you on the next video. Take care.